British, oh, there we go. British mountaineer and explorer George Lee Mallory was asked many times why he wished to climb Everest. Why would a sane, intelligent man, in full knowledge of the great number of climbers who died on mountains on forgiving slopes, choose to venture forth again and again? Why climb Everest? Mallory said, because it's there. The story usually ends here. This is not all that Mallory said. Swarmed by reporters, he snapped, because it's there, in a moment of frustration. Later, Mallory elaborated on his motivations. He said this to the reporters. So if you cannot understand that there is something in man which responds to the challenge of this mountain and goes out to meet it, that the struggle is the struggle of life itself, upward and forever upward, then you won't see why we go. What we get from this adventure is just sheer joy. And joy is, after all, the end of life. We do not live to eat and make money. We eat and make money to be able to enjoy life. That is what life means and what life is for. And that is Mallory's reason. History has misunderstood his motivation, turning it, reducing it, to a primitive, instinctual need to do what has not yet been done. Like Mallory's reasons to climb Everest, the motivations for human spaceflight have been unfairly reduced. The most visible motives dominate the debate. We hear humans were born to explore. We need thirst for new knowledge to expand our horizons because we long to see what's, what's beyond them. I believe with my whole heart in these arguments, but I will not ask people to buy this, literally buy with their tax dollars, when we have so many problems at home on Earth. How can someone who struggles to support his or her family be asked to support space, space exploration when there's so when these, uh, excuse me, um, when it is justified only by intangible thoughts about humanity's greater purpose? Humankind is irrelevant when one's family is at risk. Spaceflight should be seen as a wise investment. So you are applying the most brilliant minds of the world, solving problems many would dismiss as insurmountable. But the technologies developed during the course of our journey into space ripple through our everyday lives. Cell phones, digital cameras, MRI images, these are all technologies spun off from NASA research and other space agency research. Fortunately, the space agencies already advertise the impact of spin-off technologies, but they can do much more to show the public another side of the return on the investment in space. The story of humans in space is a story of raw discovery in the face of adversity, of curiosity and adventure, innovation and wonder. Space grants us new perspectives on the Earth and the universe. It is the ultimate freedom and thus offers the ultimate potential. And what is more seductive than potential? Human spaceflight is a grand endeavor with an incredible capacity to spark new minds to dream. By far, the most powerful impact of human space exploration is the inspiration of generations of young people to pursue careers in science, engineering, and technological fields. Not every child awed by blueprints on an alien soil will grow up to become an astronaut or an aeronautical engineer. But she may become a physicist, or a chemical engineer, or a doctor. Her innate curiosity will be fueled by will be fueled by dreams of other worlds. She will ask questions and learn to seek her own answers. In passion undimmed, she will grind her way through calculus, free body diagrams, stereochemistry, and all the challenges of a scientific education because she understands. Difficulty is inherent to a worthy undertaking. There is no more visible or thrilling way to demonstrate the enormous potential of science than this nation-spanning, perspective-changing enterprise. And Earth needs science. Science is critical to understanding and overcoming many of the great problems that loom over the human species. Science will give us new ways to cultivate food, to care for and heal the world, to counteract the rise of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and to and Excuse me. and to connect the most remote places on our planet to the resources of its greatest cities. Bold space exploration will catalyze the next generation of science, scientists and engineers. When the United States launched its space program in the 1950s, the Cold War was the next battleground. Sorry, excuse me, the next battleground in the Cold War was space. 
scientific inspiration and new technologies were unforeseen benefits of the push beyond our atmosphere. Now, they must become our driving force for, to advance human spaceflight. Humans walked on the moon less than nine years after first entering space. Think of what we could do in nine years. Think of what that could do for Earth. We only lack the will. Mallory understood this. How to get the best of it all, he said? One must, con one must conquer, achieve, get to the top. One must know the end to be convinced that the end is winnable. One must know that there's no dream that must be dared. Is this the summit crowning the day? We do not feel exultant, but delighted, joyous, soberly astonished. Have we vanquished an enemy? None but ourselves. Have we won a kingdom? No. And yes, we have achieved an immense satisfaction, fulfilled a destiny, to struggle and to understand. Never this last without the other. Such is the law. Thank you very much.